Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> um, basically, I'm just getting ready for work and I wanted to have a chat to you about what's been going on with me, my mental health and stuff like that. I don't want to get foundation on my work shirt, so I have this one on. Um, I'm not going to talk about the products too much. I'm just going to have a chat with you. So, I don't have a mirror. Moving on. There's a mirror back here. Like, I don't even know... If I'm going to edit this video, I don't know if I'm going to upload it. We'll just have to wait and see. So if I have uploaded it, hello. <laughs> um, basically, I have been struggling a bit lately with my mental health and my depression. Um, and I feel like I have to give you a little bit of a backstory to know what's what I mean. And, you know, depression, it affects everyone on different levels and everyone in different ways. And it's caused from many, many different things. So I, I feel like i got to explain it a little bit. So basically, I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety like five years ago, five, six years ago, something like that. Um, and... <laughs> When I think of depression, I think of the real stereotypical depression symptoms that are everywhere. Um, you know, sad all the time, crying a lot, can't get out of bed, um, suicidal thoughts, self-harm. You know, that's what I thought depression was. And I, I never had any of that and I still don't. I sleep good, I get out of bed, I do the things I need to do, I go to work. Um, I don't self-harm, I don't have suicidal thoughts, so I just thought, I don't have depression, it's not happening. And when the doctor uh, diagnosed me, I was like, no, no. And he's just like, yeah, honey, yeah. Here's a, you know, a referral to go and see a therapist, and she was amazing. Um, and even then, when I went and seen her, I was just like, look, this is what the doctor said, that I don't think I've got it. And she was said the same thing, like, yes, you actually do this this is what it is and I thought oh crap uh yeah okay well this is new I didn't know that this is what depression could feel like and it was a massive eye opener and it changed my life it just it joined so many dots together and made so many other things make sense that my sort of my life sort of came together. I know that sounds weird, but that's just how I feel. Like for me, um, and I'm not on antidepressants or anything like that. I've always been the type of person to um, to sort of slog it on alone, if that makes sense. Um, like there's very few people who I talk to about my social myself. I almost said social media. Um, my mental health. There's very few people that I actually talk to talk to about it. Um, like, and I can guarantee that if I met you on the street, some of you I do know that I know watch these videos. So, not including you, but you know, the people who I haven't met. If you guys were to you know see me randomly in public and ask me how I'm doing, I'm not going to give you my whole, you know, my life story or you know what's going on with me and my mental health and, you know, stuff like that. And even, like, my friends and stuff, you know, there's only a, f a few that I will still really open up to. And I'll tell you what, you guys are freaking privileged. <laughs> um, they are, but I, I say that because, you know, a lot of people ask me, oh, how are you going? Are you okay? Are you good? You are right? And I'm sort of just like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. Without actually really disclosing anything else because I'm like you know in in my mind I'm thinking well these people don't care about my problems they don't want to know that I'm depressed about this or I'm anxious about that or I'm sad or I'm unhappy and I know that's silly because they're my friends and they care but it's just it's just how my mind works unfortunately um there are a select few that I do talk to, um, 
often it's because we like we can share in our experiences when we're both sad or depressed you know stuff like that um i totally lost where i was going with this anyway i'll figure it out so yeah like i said before i'm still i'm still functioning I'm, I'm still going to work i'm getting ready going to work i don't remember the last time oh no the last time i technically put makeup on was melbourne cup but that's because i felt like i had to but the last time i put makeup on like for myself for pleasure i don't remember honest to god do not remember and that's a shame because i enjoy it and you know it's the same with um making videos and you know doing stuff for youtube and you know i'm still going out i'm still seeing my friends i'm still socializing i'm still going to events like you know the last couple of weeks my couple of my friends had birthday parties and that was you know it was a fucking great time excuse my language um and you know last weekend i was at the bin doing burnouts again great weekend i'm just feeling like i can't get excited over things like i usually would which is weird because i'm usually and if you know me you'll agree with this I'm usually a little tiny ball of like excitement that bounces around the room in just this fit of excitement and that's what I'm like and the last little while I just haven't been feeling like that at all even though I know and I, <sighs> slow down for a second I haven't been feeling like that at all which in turn makes me feel bad because I should be excited for my friend's birthday or to be going out and seeing them or going to an event that I'd never been to before with friends and you know it's just it goes around and around and around and around and if you experience this you know exactly what I'm talking about but it's just hard to explain to someone who hasn't been in the same situation before um what am I up to concealer I think um I feel so out of practice because I haven't really done this in so long. And my nose has been giving me so much trouble recently. I got wicked sunburn on the weekend too. Um, so yeah, I'm still I'm still functioning. I get up in the morning. I don't have any trouble getting out of bed. I get up in the morning. I do my housework and chores and stuff around the house. I do stuff with Mick if he needs a hand with anything. I go to work. I usually have a pretty good day at work. Um, you know, I'm still, like I said, I'm still seeing my friends and I'm still going to events and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm still functioning. And even though I have depression, I feel like I shouldn't have depression because I'm still functioning. But I know that's not how it works. And that in itself like I shouldn't be making myself feel bad about it because it's just how I am but it does if that makes sense I don't know if any of this is making sense to you um I feel like I'm rambling a little bit because I again I feel like I have so much I want to say but I don't really know how to say it or at least say it in a way that makes sense or like you know a co cohesive story sort of thing um yeah so i've, I've just uh, the best way that i can explain it is that recently i've been in a bit of a rut and i just don't know how to get myself out of it and i had so many plans for like advent calendars and stuff for this season i actually do have one coming and i do actually have one that needs to be edited that i from freaking weeks ago um, that I just haven't edited yet and I think I need to stop waiting for something to happen and I need to make it happen myself and I don't know if this is going to work sometimes it will it will help me sometimes Ugh. what is that I don't know um so that's why i sort of decided on making this video i was thinking about doing a vlog anyway 
just for a bit of a catch up. Um, but <laughs> considering I still don't know if I'm going to upload this and it's taken me probably a solid, I don't know, two weeks, week and a half, two weeks to actually feel comfortable enough to actually want to do it. I mean, that's, that's huge right now for me. Like I, I was just I was sitting at my computer doing something, something unimportant. And I thought, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to wash my hair, you know, do everything I need to do. And I'm going to do that video today. I really hope that I don't look that orange or yellow in like in real life. But at this point, I don't actually care. Why am I still putting powder on? I'm distracting myself. Um, where was I? I don't actually remember. I think I was saying, like, saying something along the lines of, you know, I need to try and push myself to get back to where I need to be and that's why I'm doing this. I think that's what I was saying. Um, and this, this time it's weird. I'm usually, I'm always honest with people as much as I can be at least. Um, you know, because of I work as a barmaid, I have to, you know, be polite to everyone sort of thing. So sometimes, you know, especially in a small town, you might, there might be someone that you might not get along with, but you know, you have to be nice to them because it's part of your job. It's probably the worst part of it, actually. Um, you know, so there has been some stress and some anxiety from work, which hasn't been helping. Um, but otherwise, work has been really good. And what I was saying was, that, you know, usually, usually I'm quite honest and upfront with people um, when it comes to my mental health. And I, I feel like I still am to a certain extent, but only when people broach, like, come to me and say, how are you going? How is your mental health? Have you been depressed recently? You know, that makes me feel like they care so I can open up to them. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Please don't sneeze. That would be disastrous right now. No, I think I saved it. Um, you know, I, I'm i obviously honest with Mick, but it's really difficult because he doesn't have any mental health issues. Well, nothing diagnosed anyway. Um... So he doesn't know how, like, I, I struggle to explain to you guys how I feel and, you know, the reasons behind it. Are, you know, I obviously still struggle with him. And, um, you know, he's always amazing and supportive and, you know, tries to help me the best that he can. But it's hard to explain to him how I'm feeling and why I'm feeling like that, you know. Why do you feel upset? Why are you crying? I don't know. I just have all of this built up emotion and I need to let it out somehow, you know. And uh, crying is my biggest thing for letting out my emotions. If I'm having a crap day, especially at work, as soon as the moment allows, I will go somewhere quiet and I will just bore my eyes out for like a minute solid, tidy myself off, rub, like wash my face and just get back to it because you have to, I suppose. Um, oh, I think this blush is really pigmented. I don't remember. Um... There is a you know a friend of mine who also has depression. I um I feel like I can be really quite honest with him. You know he's my he's my best friend from work. He, we don't work together, but he's one of the local guys there, and like he's my best friend. I absolutely love that man, and you know we we're always really supportive of each other. Like we know when we each other's having a bad day, and. We won't even say anything to each other. We'll just go up. Whenever it is, we'll just go up to each other and give each other a hug. And the other person will instantly know that someone's having a bad day and they just need a little bit of support, a little bit of a hug. You know, that's just what they need. Um, I feel like I'm getting emotional. I probably sound like I'm getting emotional because I'm sniffing a lot. 
but my nose is now runny so that's you know that that's great is that enough blush I don't know that'll do um getting off track and I keep losing where I'm up to and what I'm saying and if I'm repeating myself I'm so sorry but you know I, I just feel like there's a lot I need to get off my chest and you know without going into too much detail because obviously I'm not going to tell you about all the you know if there's any dramas at work or you know with the locals or with family or with Mick not that there's any family or Mick dramas um, small town dramas are always a thing. Is that enough? I don't know. I, I feel like I've lost my touch and I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Um, yeah, so I, I, I speak to him mostly because he, he, he sort of gets me and where I'm coming from and we just click really well as people. And, um... You know, shout out to Wazza, basically. <laughs> He's never going to watch this video. Um, but, you know, he is an amazing person and I feel like I can be honest with him all the time. And even if I don't want to be, he totally understands that. You know, some people I find, you know, as, as much as they're trying to be a good friend or a good person, they'll try and be like, what's wrong? What's going on with you? you got to tell me what's going on. It'll, it'll make you feel better. But no, no, don't push me or freaking anyone else into telling you what's going on because they obviously don't want to talk about it so don't push people like that um i can't get my thing open there we go i got it um i always seem like i'm the happy bubbly go lucky sort of person and I am I am very much that kind of person but like even if I'm just having a, a bad day for whatever reason where's my eye fucking eyebrow brush um you know even if I'm just having a bad day for whatever reason if I'm not my happy bubbly go lucky self suddenly you know the world's fallen down around my ears and there's something, you know, there's been some sort of big catastrophe. And it's like, no, like I just chill out. I just need some time to myself. I just, you know, I, just because I'm not happy and go lucky doesn't mean I'm not unhappy. I mean, recently it is like, I, I, I'm not unhappy. I'm not unhappy. I'm just, the best way I can explain it is flat. I'm just flat. I feel like my eyebrows are going to be an absolute disaster today. Um, like, I'm just literally flat. I have no motivation to do anything. Uh, you know, no no drive. I'm literally on autopilot. I go through my day. I do my chores on autopilot. Go to work. I'm on autopilot. Um, even when I'm going out with my friends, if it's a new place or it doesn't matter. If I'm going out... I'm still on autopilot doing what I think that I should be doing because I should be having a good time and I should be happy when in reality I could be having a great time. I could be happy. But there's still this sort of spot that's just sort of flat and I need to try and get past that. I've just, I've just spotted Pepper on the floor. What are you doing? Hello. Hello. Um... Okay, that brow wasn't too disastrous. You know, I'm always making fun at myself. I mean, you've probably seen it right now, you know, me poking fun at myself. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm concentrating. Um, I guess my point was that... Because of the way I am, because I am happy and bubbly and stuff, and as soon as I'm not, there's instantly something wrong, it's really hard to keep up appearances. And that in itself can be quite depressing. Because I just, sometimes you just want to sit down and chill out, have a chat. You don't need to be bouncing off the walls the entire time. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Because it is extremely tiring for me. 
also, and I think I said this in the beginning, but I can't remember. This isn't me whining and wanting attention and wanting support. Support is great, do not get me wrong. Um, I'm not doing this for attention. I'm not doing this for views. I'm not doing it for anything. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. This is me being able to vent because I feel like I have to talk about some things. Now, obviously, you know, privacy stuff I'm not going to talk about with you guys. There's definitely, you know, a, a, a few things that I don't want put on the internet. Um, but for right now, I don't actually know who I can talk, not who I can talk to, because there's lots of people, but more of who I should talk to. And obviously the, the correct answer would be a doctor or a therapist or something, but I don't feel like I need that just yet. So I'm talking to myself, essentially. Um, and if I do upload this, I'm talking to you guys. So I, I do actually, getting some stuff off my chest does make me feel better already. And I'm not even done yet. Um, it just, I don't know, I, I don't want to seem like I'm an attention seeker or, you know, I'm, I'm using my mental health issues as anything other than what they are. I just need to talk and this is the best way for me to do that at this given moment. So am I going to do it? Heck yeah, I'm going to do it. I, I don't really care if there is backlash for this if I upload it. I don't want it and it's not what I'm intending, but it is what it is and I just have to freaking deal with it. Um, anyway, now that that rant's over, um, concentrating. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, so that, that is essentially what I'm doing. I'm I'm talking to myself to get it off my chest and talking to you guys. That would have been a really nice shot. I, I, did, I couldn't see it. Oh no, my eyes got on water. Oh no. Oh, don't do that. Uh, I also want to see, I want to show you guys something. It was something to do with... um. It was either a cancer thing or a mental health thing. Hang on, let me show you. Hang on. Look at this. Mick bought it for me, so like all the donations went to a charity or to a fund or something. Look at this little guy. He's so freaking cute. And Pepper loves it. I've had to put him up somewhere where she can't reach. So I'm going to put him on my table now. Um, you know, that's him showing that he's supporting me in the way that he, the only way he really knows how. Um... Yeah, so, you know, even to to this day, I still feel like, and I shouldn't, and I know I shouldn't, and I, you know, I still feel like because I'm not depressed, you know, the stereotypical depressed, that I shouldn't, why am I doing mascara? I'm not up to mascara yet. Um, you know, I... What was I saying? You know, I shouldn't feel bad because I'm not depressed. When in reality, I am. I'm so flat right now. I'm extremely emotional all the time. I was sort of fluff in the air. I feel alone. I feel anxious all the time recently um it's just i know in my mind and in my heart that i you know i have this mental illness and i you know i do i tackle it in my own way and you know i know what works for me isn't going to work for you or it might do I don't know, everyone's different. But, you know, I try and tackle it in my own way and it doesn't always work the way I want it to. And that's okay because I've, I've learned that that doesn't work for me. 
I wish that it did. It would make me feel better. <laughs> um, this eyeshadow is just getting so old. I need to bin it, but I like it. Um, where was I going with that? Again, where was I going with that? No, I don't remember. Um, I think essentially what I was just saying was, you know, I, I try and do what I think is best for me and I'm hoping this is best for me. Um, but I suppose we'll just have to wait and see, especially if I do end up uploading this. Um, oh, my nose is so itchy. Does anyone else have that when they put makeup on them? Their nose gets really itchy or really watery. Let me know. Um, yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to get at, <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that that's why you've seen so little of me recently because I haven't had any drive or any motivation to do anything but run through the motions and run on autopilot. Um, financially speaking, we're also saving to go to Bali. So, you know, I haven't had a lot of extra cash to throw around. Um, but that's not, you know, to me, that is an excuse. And it's not the whole reason why I've been so quiet on here. Um, but like I said, I do have one video that's ready to be edited and uploaded. I still have my long hair. I don't know if you can tell, but I've actually had a haircut. Um, and I do have another uh, the advent calendar coming. So I'm hoping that as soon as that arrives, I'm feeling a bit better. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just have to see how we go. I'm hoping so. But yeah, essentially that's that's what's been going on with me. That's a little bit of my history and my backstory into my mental health. Um, yeah. I've got to stop doing that because it's messing up my eyeshadow. And I thought... I, I actually don't remember the last time I wore... Like make, I was going to say eyeshadow last time I wore makeup to work so I thought that instead of just sitting down and doing a vlog somewhere I'd do something that would force me to do a bit longer of a video so that I could talk more because I guarantee you if I did this in like a normal vlog style I would have been talking for like 10 minutes and not gotten across what I wanted to get across I still don't think I have fully well I mean I have I've spoken about everything I wanted to speak about but I just don't think I had the same clarity as what I wanted. Um, I don't know if that looks any good. But my other palette in here. No, it's not. Oh, well. Um, I'm just going to put on some setting spray. Yeah, I, I, I think... Ugh, it does taste very nice. I think I've said everything that I wanted to say, but maybe not as good as I would like to say it. Uh, hopefully, I get out of this rut soon, and I'm you know back to more my my old self. I would really like that. Um, I don't think there was anything else I wanted to say. I'm just going to put on my mascara while, while I ponder that for a minute. I'm really liking this Maybelline one at the moment. But I don't need the big back bold lashes right now. I'm just putting a little bit on so you can see my lashes. Make them exist, essentially. And I need the smallest amount. I'm going, see, autopilot. I just went on autopilot mode and I was telling you what I was doing with my makeup, which, I mean, isn't, for a start, what this video is about. Um, but because I was thinking, I just went on autopilot. And I'm very much like that at work too. I suppose I should mention for anyone who actually knows me in real life, 
um, who watches this video, um, don't feel like, because I haven't talked to you about this or mentioned how bad I've been recently, does not mean that I don't want to. It's just that I still struggle with being able to open up to people. I've always, always been the one who will soldier on by herself. And, you know, I, I don't need anyone. I don't need any help. I've always been that person. I've always been alone, essentially. So, you know, do not, do not feel bad that I haven't opened up to you. It's not for lack of wanting. I just don't want to burden my, you know, burden you with my problems, essentially. Um, and you know, for anyone who is in a similar situation to me right now, um, my advice would be to do what you need to do. Sometimes you don't know what you need to do. Um, try and look what other people are doing or get advice obviously from a doctor or a therapist or you know stuff like that but do what you need to do if that means what I've been doing and running on autopilot and not really participating in anything else or wanting even wanting to do anything else then you do that to a certain point sometimes you have to do essentially, for what I'm doing now, um, and I don't mean make a YouTube video or record yourself having a rant, I mean sometimes you have to do something that you don't have the drive to do, that you don't want to do, but that you know that you w would do. I really hope that this makes sense because I'm literally making this up as I go along, but let me give you an example. Uh, for me, it's making this video because I know I enjoy making YouTube videos. Um, I didn't want to make this video. I know I should, but I didn't want to. I've literally forced myself, after weeks of thinking of it, to do what I'm doing right now. And if that means, you know, it, it could be completely different for you. It could mean getting out of a relationship or moving house. Or something as simple as washing your hair or changing your clothes in the morning. If it's going to help, then try and do it. And I really feel like I'm about to cry and I really don't want to do that. Um, also remember that, you know, I've, I, I feel like I have to soldier on by myself. But I don't have to. I don't have to be alone. I can talk to people. And you can as well. It's hard. But it's doable. You know, and it doesn't matter who you talk to as long as you get it off your chest. My nose is really running right now and I feel like I'm going to cry. Um... Excuse me for a moment. <sighs> That's one thing I didn't expect was to get emotional during this video. This kind of throw me a curveball a little bit. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that I think that's all I wanted to say. Um. Hopefully, I'll be back and making videos and being my old self again soon. So, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.